less than a week, I believe. And uh, I just wanted to touch base with you and just let you know what's going on. And um, I am in the process of filming a video about my school, but I wanted to make sure I did my school justice. So I'm taking my time with that video. And the video will mainly be me just kind of showing you the campus and showing you the cafeteria and where the teachers, you know, where we where we hang out, where, you know, base of operations uh, might be. And you may see students in there, but the only students you would see are the ones who signed video release forms. And I did make sure that I got permission from my school to film so that I am, you know, okay there. So everything has been pre-approved. But um, I thought I would make this video actually more about um, just giving you advice on coming to Cambodia if you want to come here. Because a lot of people want to come but they're, they're not really sure because, I mean, it's a big decision to move countries. But Cambodia is not actually too difficult to, to get to. I would actually say this is the easiest place on earth to move to, like for me anyway. Uh, and it, it was a no-brainer for me because I wanted to live on the equator and now I live on the equator. As long as I stay here an entire year, I will not experience winter whatsoever, which will be, which will be amazing coming from Indiana. That will, I can't even, I can't even comprehend what that's going to be like. But um, it, one of the first questions people have about coming here are how hard is it to get a work visa? And the short and simple answer to that is it is incredibly easy to get a work visa. All you do, which you don't have to do it this way, but what I did uh, is I filled out the application online and printed it off and I attached a passport size photo to it. When I got off the plane, I went to the visa counter, I handed it to them, and $30, and I walked away with a work visa. That's all it took. They don't care who you are or what you did. Uh, I think probably certain countries might have restrictions, but uh, America doesn't. So, and I imagine probably the UK and Canada and all the, the big five probably won't. So you don't have anything to worry about there. And I know some other countries that normally have problems uh, getting visas also don't have problems. Cambodia is very, very tourist friendly. And you can walk around and literally speak English here and have no problems with anyone. I mean, some people might not understand you, but you can always find someone that understands you. It is the most tourist friendly place I've ever been in my life. And that is the honest truth. But um, that $30 for your visa will last you a month and at the end of the month you go to a, uh, to a um, travel agent and they can renew it for you. And you do it about a week before your visa expires and you pay for however long you want the extension. I, I did three months so it was about $80 and it was incredibly simple. Uh, seven days later, they called me up and told me my visa was ready, and I went down and got it. And that was it. Perfectly legitimate, and uh, now I'm extended for another three months. And other than that, moving to Cambodia, uh, as far as money, I would recommend after your plane ticket, after your visa, that you have $2,000 in your wallet or purse that you are ready with at least $2,000. $2,000 should cover you for an entire month easily. But the 2,000, the reason I say 2,000 is because you will want to get an apartment if you're here. I came originally with a guest house booked for three days and I stayed in it for two hours because that's how long it took me to get an apartment. I had already, um, scheduled a, a showing or a viewing for the uh, viewings for funerals no so a showing for um, the apartment and I came in I looked at it and I said yes I want it and I filled out the application and they handed it to me I gave um, I, I paid 380 for this plus a month and a half deposit which is actually 
pretty good. Some places make you pay more, but I told them I didn't want to, and they didn't make me. So, other than that, I mean, it was incredibly easy. It put America to shame, no problem. If I want to get an apartment in America, it's all kinds of background checks and credit checks and references and all this other stuff, which makes it incredibly difficult to live. But here, I do not have that problem, so I am happy with my choice to live here. So, so know that I am completely happy here. And like all the regulations that make life difficult don't exist here at all. There are essentially no regulations here. It's kind of like the wild west of the east. So, so just know that. But um, other than that, there are a few things that you'll want to watch out for. There are a lot of people out to scam you and you will pay more than the locals pay for everything. But the amount of extra money that you pay is, um, it, it, it really means nothing to you. It means to them they know they're cheating you, but to you it's like 50 cents extra or something. So you're still, you're gonna get ripped off, but it's, you're going to be inconsequential completely like they'll try to scam you out of a quarter so oh yeah it's a yeah it really it really bothers you but um, one thing you will hear when you walk down the street here is you will hear the word tuk 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 you will hear it probably ten times if you walk down one street and sometimes if you walk back down the same street, you'll hear it again. Tuk tuk, tuk tuk. All they're trying to do is the tuk tuk drivers are trying to get you to get in, into their tuk tuk. And when you do that, they take you wherever you wanna go and try to charge you $7 starting, no matter where it is. And you have to learn to bargain. If you don't bargain, you will be paying $7 to go a mile you'll pay seven dollars to go half a mile, you'll pay seven dollars to go three miles. Nothing here, which I'm still trying to learn this, nothing here should cost more than three dollars. You should be able to go anywhere in the city for three dollars, easily. I still haven't got down to that level yet. I go to work for a dollar, because I have my own personal tuk-tuk driver who lovingly takes me to my, to my company and um, then I walk home. But um, that's, that is an issue. And there's also the heat. The heat is relentless here. Imagine uh, when in the summer, like the heat of summer, you get into a car before the air conditioner has been turned on and when it's been sitting in the sun for a long time. That is what the heat feels like here all the time. And at night, it doesn't really let up. And this is right now what is it march so i'm not in the cold or i'm not in the hot month yet that starts next month in april and i've heard it is unbearably hot so i'm looking forward to that and we will see how that is and um the last and final thing i wanted to to let you know about moving here is you will get dysentery you you will have stomach issues here and it's some of it's because of food cleanliness but it really doesn't matter where you go you you will get stomach issues and it is mainly because there is bacteria here that your delicate western body is not used to but the only way you can get rid of it is to just muscle through it and just keep eating the food and eventually your body will adapt and it goes away so it might take a week it might take three weeks but it will pass i promise you and it's also good for weight loss i guess if you wanted to lose a pound or two so i mean you have that and i did promise you that i have some food it is food from thailand again so this is a um cereal uh, so a chocolate cream cereal stick so quickly i will eat these just to 
show you what they taste like. Really weird smelling chocolate. And this costs about 10 cents, by the way. So. Yeah, so that tastes like cereal covered in chocolate. It tastes like uh, Cocoa Puffs, if you've had Cocoa Puffs in America. I imagine you have them in, in England too, but uh, I will also go to this, which is, uh, I guess it's called Yum Yum. This is also from uh, Thailand. And I'm not sure what flavor this is, because it has tomatoes, it also has strawberries, and there's sesame sticks, this which looks like ketchup, and then sprinkles. I imagine this is marketed towards children. This cost me about 10 cents, so I'm going to venture into this. I'm not super excited about it actually. So we will see what this yim yam, or yim yim yim, oh I guess it is yim yim. Uh, what it tastes like and how to open it. I actually, uh, so the sesame sticks come in this. Oh, uh, and chocolate. You made no mention of chocolate. Uh, so there's chocolate and then. And then sprinkles. So, how weird. So, I am messy now. So, thank you for that, Thailand. So, here's the sesame stick. I will dip it into this surprise chocolate. And then into the sprinkles. So I can kind of guess what this is going to taste like. This might not even be chocolate, who knows. Mm. Tastes like a, a big bunch of nothing. It, it really doesn't taste like anything. It's like a little bit sweet with some very, very cheap chocolate like ridiculously cheap chocolate. It's like not even, not even cake icing level chocolate. It's like if they took cake icing and then they mixed it with water and then, um, and then they, they said, here you go. And even the sprinkles are um, not that good. So if you're ever in a, a convenience store in Cambodia and you want to try some stuff that, that tastes mildly like food, then uh, try try Yim Yim. I, I know that's, pro or Yim Yim, I know that's probably not the commercial they, they were hoping for, but that's what they got. Yeah, that's what they deserved. You should not feed this to children. And I'm so glad I have my palate cleanser. So I'm gonna finish my cereal bar. I will finish that, but this yim yim is pro or yim yim is going in the trash. It sucks. So you got to see me eat something I didn't like. All right. So I will talk to you later. Hopefully, it is a video about my school. If not, then it will probably be some more crappy food that I'm gonna be eating. All right. Have fun. Talk to you later.